Jay, um, nice to, to break the, the losing drought. It's not only your first win for the year, but your first win for 267 days since last year's grand final. What does that mean for you, the hierarchy and the playing group? No, it's a big deal. Matt, Matt Nunn's 100th game's a big deal. Yep. So we're big on milestones and it's the journey he's been on over 10 years to get to 100 games. He made his debut as a 16 year old. and. Um, yeah, we, a lot of it's about more about club, but I'm big on milestones, and I felt the, the group reflected and captured what the day was for Nunny, and, and obviously the bigger picture and had the type of results we've had this year that a, a win away from home in tough conditions against a team who knocked over North Adelaide last week, it's uh, full of merit, so very satisfying. And Nunny played well, kicked a, kicked a crucial late goal mm. when uh, South had stormed back from 57 points to get within a couple late in the game. Obviously, a few anxious moments there. Yeah, there were because we just did so much right, and it, it was a breeze that you could certainly score heavily <laughs> with if you got got the ball in the right parts of the ground. And I think Freete kicked that first one, gave him belief, and they kicked another one not long after. And yeah, we just were getting beaten out of centre bounds. We got losing stoppage. I think Davis's last quarter was incredible. I think he had five clearances, seven touches, and so he let good players get off the hook a little bit and it put us under pressure down back. But I think two or three goals against from free kick, which was challenging. But I love that we went back and kicked another two. And it was really pleasing that the group just kept persisting and yeah, we were able to play up into the wind really well in the second quarter. It's one of our better quarters for the year. I think we kicked three, was it? Three to zip. Three to zip in the second quarter. I thought that was the game for us. And then to be able to get some real impact on the scoreboard in the third quarter. Some excellent turnover and excellent chains of play from how we defended. It was really, really satisfying. Six goals in 12 minutes in the third quarter to break it open. Mm. Lock kicked three in three minutes too. Obviously to, to push you through a 57 point lead. That was obviously where the game was won. Yeah, well, when you start winning good ball around the middle and turning it over, and a couple of times we shared the ball through the middle and had some, like, I think Hamilton kicked a good goal on the run through 50, and Goy kicked a couple of snaps, and yeah, a few things started to happen for us, and it was powerful. It was good to watch because it was off, bit off the back of playing the right way, and a few things started to open up for us, and importantly, we, we converted because that hasn't been a strength either this year. I think up until today, seven of the eight games kicked more behind some points, which our more behind some goals, excuse me. So, the year it was it, yeah. So, it, it appeared in the second, third quarter. It was really good, strong footy. What's it feeling like now? Is, is it a sense of relief that you've broken the losing drought, or is it partly the fact that you've actually played a bit more Nord footy and got some things back? Yeah, I think we've had some things coming back our last five weeks. Yep. Uh, it just hasn't turned into results at the Port game. I thought we had, had that one right there to take. The Westies game, we had the, there to take. Centrals, we had there as well. We just weren't good enough in the end. But no, to see the boys really connect, with, especially by hand and some going inside 50, we look dangerous. We work, work hard to work out what the right mix is there with the personnel available. But I was just really, really pleased with Luke Sermon. I thought his work in the ruck was excellent. And combined with Harry Boyd, who played his 50th game, those guys, after quarter time, I thought helped change momentum. The centre bounce started to become a strength area for us in that middle period, and lock got going. I wasn't overly happy with Goy's first half, but I thought he's outstanding third quarter. Uh, Hamilton looked dangerous. Um, yeah, Bogle, we played on ball. It was a good change up for us. Stockdale, Creswell, go through the wing. So, just a bit of team chemistry. We lose Richards and Walker going into today, so get Kennelly back and give Bogle reward for form. So, just trying to chip away at that team chemistry so it's incredibly satisfying to see the way we played to beat a good strong opposition away from home under pressure. And Ken Lee's been back in the side was so important he kicked started got the first goal of the game such an important part of your team. No, he's an incredible player for us person and leader and you really miss that so it was the four or five games he didn't play and yeah he's what he gives to the group when he wasn't playing was exceptional but he's here to play footy and lead and be a co-captain and that's what he did today so I thought his first game back was full of merit touched on some of your better player. I thought Ling was terrific too. Yeah, we made a real, shift. Real drive. He did. We made a shift there with Ling. We're exploring with where his best position was and we've played him back in the last two games and he's had really good impact. He played really well with Hurd. I thought Seymour had another good game. Yes. Donnelly was, had a really good game up until probably three quarter time, was under pressure late. And Brody Carroll's had a really good patch of form and Warburton and Morris. So that back line actually going okay and Ling's complimented it. Yeah, beautiful. Thank good, you, Andrew. Mate. Thanks, mate. Uh, Twig, how much did that group need a win, uh, obviously playing really well over the last five weeks, uh, but to win a game must have meant a lot to them. I was spoke about before that it's very satisfying. Good day, Andrew. Catch you, mate. Very satisfying. You know, it was the way they went about it. They've been training well for three weeks. Um, thought we played a strong game against Adelaide, but just couldn't quite get it done. And the Central's game, we did so much right, but then couldn't find a way to win. So to persist and keep going and um, believe in each other and what we do was very satisfying. It's a, a small little notch in the belt for the season and uh, 
anything's possible and see where it can take us. Yeah, must have been pleased with the response after quarter time. Would have probably wanted to be in front a little bit more, but was scores a level. Yeah. Seven points apiece, but to then go, I think it was nine goals in a row, must have been fantastic. Yeah, I didn't think our first quarter was that great. I yeah. thought we did well just to keep them to one next to the way they were playing, but I thought our work around the ball was just average and we got serious around the contest. And that's why I spoke about Sermon and Boyd before. I thought their efforts in the ruck but also following up helped Roker and Nunn and Kennelly and Bogle get going a little bit and started servicing the forward line. But uh, McLean stood up and kicked a couple of important ones in the second quarter. So first quarter just shows you can adjust your play if you hang in mentally. And yeah, I thought our second, third quarter looked, looked really strong.